Coming into the 2019 season, most of the drivers on the World of Outlaws roster had years of experience behind the wheel of a super late model. But one driver in particular who did not fit into that group was none other than Robeline, Louisiana wheelman Kate Dillard. Right off the bat, his southern short track talent shined through, running in the top five on night number two at Screven before a bit of bad luck struck him in the final laps, sending him to the rear with a 19th place finish. But it didn't take long for the 28-year-old to rebound as he put together a great run at Wayne County in May to finish sixth, the first of 16 top tens garnered before the Can-Am World Finals. He really hit his stride in July, finishing 10th or better seven times out of 10 and posting his best finish of the year at the big half mile of Davenport, a third place run at a track he'd never seen before. Kate posted three more top fives at I-96, Outlaw, and 411 before heading to Charlotte, making it one very impressive year for a driver who hadn't even seen about 90% of the tracks he competed on this year. Altogether, there's no better indicator of just how much Kate improved over the season than by looking at his average finish. First 19 races, 17.8. But over the next 20, how about a ninth place finish? Truth be told, no driver on tour this year was able to adapt more to his constantly changing, yet mostly unfamiliar environment than the 2019 Rookie of the Year runner-up, Thriller Kate Dillard.